Hello everybody, it's Penny Shelton here. Today is Wednesday, it's November the 3rd, and what I have to share with you today is just super, super basic elementary stuff. And um, But it's also been one of the things that has helped me the most, I would say. It has to be in the top three things that I have learned or been taught as I you know, have been on this raw food journey for the last five and a half years. It's been something that I always come back to and always remember because when I do this thing that I'm getting ready to tell you, I always feel great. And I always feel like I'm a raw food success even if I'm not 100% raw or I'm not 100% perfect. So uh, I was probably a year, maybe not quite a year into being raw and I, I got off to a great start. When I first went raw, I mean, I did the deal. I did the full-on, hardcore, 100%. I'm a religious convert to raw food program. And I'm sure I drove people crazy because I felt amazing. I mean, I lost some weight. I had my symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome had gone away like in three days or something crazy. And so I was a maniac and was telling everybody about it. And that went on for the longest time, and then I finally just burnt myself out. <laughs> I think I just got tired, you know, or whatever. I don't know what happened, but I started vacillating and dabbling and getting back into some cooked food items, and my symptoms started coming back, and, you know, so did that whole thing. So I'm listening to this teleseminar one night. David Wolf is speaking, and he's answering someone's question, and someone had asked something along the lines of, okay, um... I, I just, I'm, I'm having a hard time. I don't know what to do here. How do I make this diet work for me? What's your advice on how, where do I start? And David was just real quick to answer that. And he said, I tell people all the time, you don't have to go 100% raw overnight to reap amazing benefits in your health. Do this. Drink 32 ounces of green drink every single day. It doesn't matter when. First thing in the morning is great or do it before you go to bed. He said, that's something that is non-negotiable for me. I always drink 32 ounces of green-based juice every day. Could be a smoothie or, you know, whatever. Just a lot of leafy greens. And then you can either make it sweet or you can make it savory, whatever you're into. And I was listening thinking, you know, I can totally do that. I mean, you know, I can do that every day. And then the other thing that is, is not negotiable that David Wolf, at least he did it then. I don't know what his diet looks like today, but one big epic salad every day, either at lunch or dinner, non-negotiable, lots of leafy greens and as much color as he possibly can get in that salad. You know, like grated carrots, red bell pepper, cucumbers, um, you know, whatever, whatever vegetables you like. Sprouts are definitely something to add in there. If you can get fresh sprouts, you can sprout your own um, you know, what, sprouting your own seeds is like one of the cheapest things that you can do, but some of the most nutrient-dense foods that you can get in. So mixing that in, and then with his own salad dressing, no processed. You know, just like maybe a little drizzling of olive oil, fresh lemon or lime, or maybe a little apple cider vinegar. And so that's what he does. And, I mean, all the other stuff that may or may not happen through the day is just that. But those are two things that are non-negotiable. Well, that was like a light bulb went off for me when I heard that. And I thought, you know, um, maybe I need to stop this obsession with being so perfect all the time, you know, and, and you know, look in my, over my shoulder to see if the raw food police are going to come and arrest me because I had eaten a bite of my daughter's um, mashed potatoes or stuff, whatever, whatever it was, you know. Um, that has been the one little tidbit that I always come back to. So if I start to veer off a little bit and start to think, you know, things aren't going quite like I think that they should, I always remember, it's like, you know, I have David Wolf over here going, have you had your 32 ounces of green juice today? Have you had your big epic salad today? So I mean, I'd love to hear from you. I bet a lot of you have tips like that, and I bet a lot of you already do that with the green juice and the salad. I'm, I'm thinking a lot of you are already doing that, but if you're not, I just want to encourage you 
to make that your goal. Make that your goal every day um, to start with and then add more as you go. Instead of trying to be 100% perfect, just ease your way into it. And that works so much better for so many people. So um, that's really that's really all I had to share with you today is just how much that little tidbit has helped me. So I'd love to hear from you. Do you have a little simple elementary tidbit that you want to share with the Raw Food Rehab community? Because, you know, you may have that one little tip that's going to be the very thing that somebody else needs to hear today. I love you guys. I'll be back with you again tomorrow. I'll look forward to it, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.